Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Aquarius for the week of September 26, 2022. I'm sorry I'm late on these. Lashana, well, not we late on it. It's Sunday, so no, not late on it. So Lashana Tova, it is the new moon in Libra, plus it is the day of Rosh Hashanah, so it's a happy time. So a happy new year to everybody who's celebrating it. Share your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And may you have a blessed new year. So my airbenders, on the in the ninth house at this time, you could be feeling more connected to source energy, of course. And it's a great time to see sparks and miracles, Lashana Tova. Also, you tend to be about bigger picture at this time and you see things a, a little bit differently um, from other people. Just be sure that whenever help or advice that you give to other people at this time that you ask permission to help them because you're fix it Felix at this time and you're very opinionated at this time and very honest and you want to help people but some people just want to be dumped on okay and just want you to emotion they want to emotionally dump on you and that's that okay I feel like this is a fun time with friends. You could be planning to take you out of your routine. For some of you, this could be the beginning of invi being invited to go on holiday with people in your life at this time or go on a vacation at this time. For others of you, this is traveling for business and pleasure. This is can also be legal matters working out in your favor. Then on Tuesday, um, this is you're turned off by certain situations going on in your life. This could be turned off by your relationship, like you are not feeling it, okay? Like you're over it. You're not happy with certain areas of your life or plans don't work out as planned anymore. I feel also situations are changing at this time for you, um, at this time. And I feel also with this energy, this can be going through, a, your relationship can be going through a transformation for better or for worse. You know, we're ending the Saturn Dasha. I believe like the second house deals with relationships and I feel like it also deals with relationships, especially booed up relationships, like couples, like karmic relationships that last for years. Those relationships can be coming to an end. So like 21 to 14 year relationships, we can see those relationships coming to an end during this time period because whatever lesson that you had to learn with that person now is over. Okay, um, and for a lot of you, you could be feeling that energy at this time, or it could be that you two have obstacles to go through and you acknowledge those obstacles and you don't necessarily want to leave each other, so you're working through those obstacles with each other and it's not the easiest energy, but this too shall pass, like by next year, okay? Mm-hmm. It's going to be like that. So I feel like for others of you, if you want your relationship to survive, especially those of you who are married or in a live-in relationship that this, that's been going on together, this is going to be a situation where you blow it up, where it gets blown up, destroyed, and you guys have like a major, major fight. I'm talking major fight. Like, like we actually going to fist, we going to, we going to like bare knuckle box it. Okay. Kind of fighting going on. And then for for it to in order for it to get better so once you guys are done scrapping with each other then you know you guys kiss and make up after mercury goes direct after october 6th or october 8th when pluto goes direct and then you know then everything copacetic everything's kosher after that you know so it could be a situation like that so some of you may have some serious fighting going on this week before the relationship can get better or you're just gonna say f it i'm not doing this no more because some of you have chair on or hades in the sign of taurus which is like taurus and hate and hades is kind of like pluto energy so it's kind of like you either really great and you really in love with this person this person's clicking all your boxes or it's kind of like eating that cheeto with all the cheese on it and you love cheetos too and then finally you don't want to eat it no more because you had that one bad experience. So now you're like, forget it, I don't want it. You know, like you're literally turned off by the situation, okay? So it could be a situation like that. Then on Wednesday, you could be thinking about things that you want to do at this time. You're sitting on your hands about things. You're not so quick to jump into anything new. You could be trying to manifest things into your life. I feel like you may be more concerned about what other people think, or you could be dealing with things that you can, that are out of your control. I feel this is more of a time of reevaluation. And it might come as a sense of guilt 
or regret at this time as well. I feel that for some of you, you're not living up to your full potential and you may know that. And this could be reevaluating what is your full potential? What is my maximum potential at this time? Um, also here, you can have an opportunity to meet new people, um, but some new people could be rubbing you the wrong way. You could be, it could be a situation like with an Aries or a Taurus or a Gemini where somebody, or a Cancer sign, where somebody is testing you and seeing and pushing your buttons. Uh, or you may not like the way they go about doing things, so you can also be dealing with a Leo. So you are very, you're quite judgy when it comes to new people in your life. So try to be open-minded, try to have have, um, try not try to be like that other side of Aquarius go with the flow kind of energy Aquarius um, don't put anybody in a box at this time and just be open-minded to the new experience new experiences and the lessons that this person learned um, is teaching you then on Thursday in the ninth house I feel with this energy here, Mars is doing something here and it's not being well aspected to the ninth house. So you may not be um, getting along with those in authority or those who are older than you at this time. And you could be butting heads with other people um, in your life. For some of you, check your work and your paperwork because you can be forgetful or absent-minded on Thursday or putting things off to last minute. I feel like for others of you, this could be traveling abroad. You can be experiencing a bit of a culture shock at this time or you know you you know some of you may have been like so sheltered that you may not understand the ways of others and the ways of like how other people live so it could be like a culture shock that way like if you've always like had a silver spoon in your mouth and you always had this and then all of a sudden you go to college and then next thing you know you go to the ghetto and then you're like whoa you know and you know and sometimes what happens is that people literally take advantage of you or people will treat you like you're stupid because you don't understand their way of living and stuff and to them you're ignorant so it could be a situation like that so you know be careful what you say around other people this week as well because they could be really listening intently and closely to hear if you're ignorant or not okay um, then on Friday with the third house energy I feel like for some of you this could be fighting with siblings or you could be fighting with the ex or you could be fighting with um, the live-in relationship at this time or a roommate and you could feel and you know you're not getting along with them at this time you could also be um, stuck in the middle of an argument with other people and just butting heads with people and picking sides you know I do feel like this could be a positive time for a move a relocation a great time for money matters your emotional self is dictating your money situation so keep the energy positive I do feel like something new is coming and this is just change happening um, be it some of it permanent some of it some of it not so permanent um, but I do feel like change is happening you know um, during this time period for some of you this could be a promotion um, getting an internship and I feel like this is an exciting time period for you where you're going to be throwing yourself into your work this could be recommitting yourself to your goals especially if you haven't seen anything happen here lately now you're gonna Friday you're gonna start to see the energy start moving and start getting interesting and you're gonna start growing and it's gonna make you want to recommit to your goals or it's gonna be like you know you've been saving money and now you're like kind of like excited because now you're like seeing it that it's tangible to save money that kind of situation the six of swords for some of you this can be traveling for others of you you can be very much invested in your head at this time so try to stay out is to try to stay out of your head because it is not the place to be try not to figure out people or you know this could be a situation here where you're trying to figure out somebody and you're trying to put them in a box with this energy as well and you're trying to label this person so be careful with that for others Others of you, you can be just going through it emotionally because you have like a lot of changes that you don't necessarily want to make at this time, or you have like a lot of difficult decisions in your life that you don't necessarily want to go there yet. The Knight of Wands, new beginnings and new people are coming into your life this week um, with this energy. I feel like the changes that are coming up though. You could be feeling some kind of way about it because it's change and it's out of your control. For some of you, you could have a difficult time grasping the new material that is happening at work. I feel like there's a new cultural influence happening as well for you. So you, you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. The temperance card, you can be more about your sanity at this time or you can be taking more care of your, better care of your health at this time and focusing on your health this week. The um, judgment card, major decisions. Yeah. <laughs> 
are coming up at this time. For some of you, this can be dealing with court. You can be hearing some good news in regards to court because you're, you know, this is plans working out exactly as planned or this is like things are moving along quickly for you. So you like the pace that at which everything is going. For others of you, this could be major decisions coming up at this time and you can be more about your sanity with this energy and you know that these new decisions are going to be coming with new experiences and new people and you may not be ready for that or you could be overthinking the situation it's like you know it could be like a divorce and then you could be like already like crushing on somebody as well but this person could have kids and stuff like that and a whole like family situation going on so you know it could make you feel a little bit uncomfortable with pursuing um this relationship you know but you know it happens you know the so three of coins a time of growth spiritual growth or financial growth coming to you the page of cups i hate the page of cups okay so this means that you know when it comes to love there is love opportunity but when we see the page of cups to me it means that it's not happening anytime soon okay so yeah and then for others of you this is just dating like seriously as quickly as this person comes in as quickly as they leave the world card recognition and success it's a great time um, for it to receive some much needed good news during this time period or this is a great time for traveling for some of you this week as well the um, hierophant card dealing with a group or organization with this energy so there's some good news in in regards to that happening here or you could be more invested in a group or organizations I feel for some of you this could be like the company you work for the building that you work for something is getting an upgrade at this time so they're revamping their image they're trying to bring in more people more clients into their world so you could find like a lot of procedures a lot of like um, systems are changing at this time so you could be learning something new this week the star card manifesting what you want at this time hope is coming through for some of you i feel like certain things are falling into place at this time but of course we need patience because it's not going to happen as quickly as you want it but i feel like there could be some like little windows opening or there could be some things coming in that are giving you that hope that things are going to be starting to work in your favor a little bit more the three of swords a turn of events is going to reconnect you to somebody from your past this could be an ex that broke up with a girlfriend or a boyfriend and this person is coming back to you because they want you to lick their wounds and stuff like that so be careful with that relationship i do feel like for some of you that you could be really happy that this person's coming back into your life and they could be saying like all sorts of things to get back into your life like really talking future 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 at this time or even love bombing you so my saying is seeing is damn believing when i damn when i damn see it i will damn believe it you know so either than that kick kick rocks you know because it's like because mm -mm. talk is super cheap and you know people will say anything just to get back into your life and sometimes it is not worth your time or nor energy okay the ten of coins there's an emphasis on money coming in but it might be a while if you're looking for like big money car insurance or some kind of insurance it may be a little bit of time before you get that or homeowners insurance it may be a little while before you get that check okay the nine of swords depression um i feel like for some of you here that you know you're like working home working home working home i feel like you can be more about your reality at this time and more of a pessimist so be careful with your emotional self this week the chariot card definitely some victories coming up okay some much needed good news happening for you for some of you this could be recommitting yourself to your goals with this energy a new sense of security another source of income coming in for you or this could be money matters working out um at the last moment for some of you the three of wands um teamwork makes the dream work with this energy a lot of threes here so a lot of mercury energy curiosity loving the latest and greatest in technology lots of communication is coming your way this week with this energy as well the um knight of cups blessings onto the universe to you this week and lashana tova it's gonna be a beautiful new year
because a lot of changes are happening this year. So this is going to be a beautiful time. So this could be um, also a new love interest coming to you, or there could be some kind of opportunity to grow, to grow your business, or opportunity um, to grow at work coming up for you as well with this energy. The um, King of Coins, focusing on career. This could be your love and this could be your partner focusing on their career. Or if you're crushing on somebody, they could be throwing themselves into work. So they're like working home, working home, working home, and not really thinking of anything else. This could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, or this could be um, a Taurus is what I'm picking up. And I'm just going by my vibrational thing. Okay, for some of you, you could feel more connected to your calling at this time. And you could be feeling like you are definitely heading on your path. And this could be the astrology that is correlating with on Friday that you could feel more of a connection in the direction that you're going to this week. The death card does bring about transformation happening. Um, there is a purge. So whoever, whatever has to leave your life at this time, let it leave your life. Okay. I feel, but these may be smooth changes at this time with the Knight of Cups and the Tower card that is coming up. The Six of Wands, I see optimistic energy. I feel like you can find creative ways to defend yourself. And this could be fighting with people on the internet this week. And you could just find creative ways to like help yourself or protect yourself um, from people around you or you could tell them off in a very creative way and they're going to have a level of shut the hell up going on. Okay, let me see. I do see like you have options when it comes to career or when it comes to love. I do see a race and a promotion coming up. I do see you, you know, whoever you're crushing on, I do see you two eventually, not now, not today, not tomorrow, not in the next three weeks of because Page of Cups here, but I do see you eventually getting that person that you want, okay? So you two could be talking to each other and getting to know each other, you know, and this person hasn't really decided what they want it with you, but eventually they will. I do see an emphasis on travel coming up for you as well this week with this energy as well. I do feel like this is a great time for poetry. This is a great time for writers. Your creative juices are flowing this week. The Nine of Wands, I feel like for some of you, this is copyright infringement. I see um, for some of you dealing with intellectual property at this time or trying to get a copyright you know so there could be some going to court over copyrights coming up with this energy so be careful with that don't talk about your ideas to other people unless you're like you want you want them to have the credit and take the credit for the, for the idea because they will i feel like for some of you you are really having a difficult time with change okay you are very scared about your future you're very scared about the decisions that you're going to be making. I feel like as I connect with the energies that for some of you, this could be you crushing on somebody and it could be a situation here that, you know, this person got a kid, this person is um, still married, but yet you feel like a really intense connection with them and it could be a psychic connection too and they could be feeling it too, but you're scared to go and figure that out because you're scared of rejection. Okay, so, you know, it's up to you what you want to do with that. Sometimes fate will play itself, you know, and then you two will meet somewhere um, by accident. I feel also this is a time where you really need to be very honest because I feel like you need to sometimes be the bigger person in a situation when everybody else want to be a scaredy cat because nobody's telling the truth about what's really going on in a situation. I feel like this is also a time facing the music as well with this energy. So there's a lot of like things, uncomfortableness that you have to do um, with this energy. And this is an opportunity to make ego smaller, to clear your consciousness, you know, and this is a time for Rosh Hashanah where we're getting written a good book kind of situation as well. For some of you, you're protecting your money and your assets, and this is also a reason why you could be scared about moving forward. I feel you're definitely trying to avoid the facts. You're definitely scared of the truth. You're probably scared of your intuition and the direction it wants you to go into because, you know, sometimes we don't like to be the bad guy in our life, you know, and sometimes we have to make um, difficult decisions that we're not ready to make. Avoiding a bad situation by moving at this time as well and running away from it. The four of coins, yeah, you're very stubborn. You're very stuck in your ways of thinking, you know. Um, I do feel like there. this could be like a lot of psychic pressure. This could be like the universe, like literally 
talking to you and just challenging you and making matters worse. But at the end of the day, you have free will, okay? I do see also business pressures as well coming up for you with this energy. The Five of Cups, depression happening for you, feeling restless. I feel like you can be dealing with a lot of resentment this week, so try to stay in your routine and just go through your process. It's okay to feel mad, ugly, whatever. Um, just go through it and process your feelings at this time with this energy, okay? I do feel like for some of you, you're dealing with um, private schools or financial institutions this week as well. That is coming up in your cards. I do feel like for some of you, this is dealing with business management at this time as well. And again, this is a time where you're feeling the pressure for your business at this time. This can also be dealing with financial disappointments this week as well. So just be aware of that. Watch your spending this week with this energy. I feel like there could be an inheritance around for some of you. I feel like you kind of do your own thing. You're kind of like a little bit of a rebel with this energy and going against the grain or going on a different path than everybody else instead of the prescribed path or what is expected to, of you at this time. The Queen of Coins and the Great Words of the Great Disciple, Oprah Winfrey, let your wounds be your wisdom at this time. So you're going to be getting into a fight with somebody this week and then you're going to regret your decision. The Two of Swords, I do feel like you're crushing on somebody as well with this energy or somebody is crushing on you. Something you've been wanting for a very long time is going to come to fruition with this energy. The um, Four of Cups, I do see you being, I do see confrontation happening, whether you want it or not, which I feel like a lot of you don't, are avoiding this elephant in the room and I feel like the elephant in the room is coming and I feel like for some of you here that you know you have to deal with it you're gonna have to deal with it and be super open and honest say what's on your mind and that's really hard to do you know um the five of so the five of coins I feel like you can be feeling very restless with this energy here as well but have faith that everything is going to work itself out with this energy. I also feel like this can be a very busy week for you with business, with career, and you're feeling all this pressure on you or even with school and you're feeling this pressure to perform, to do well. And I feel like you can have a nervous breakdown this week if you're not careful with this energy. I also feel like you can be dealing with separation and loss. So whoever has to leave your life at this time, let them leave your life. Fate is intervening at this time. So you know try to go more with the flow with this energy some of this stuff despite mercury being in retrograde we're dealing with south node energy so some of this could be dealing with separation and loss and certain things no longer applying in your life okay and you might and then on top of that depends where the south node is in your natal chart because if you're like watching for your rising then watch for your sun in your first house but what's going to happen is that you're going to get it back. You may get something similar back, but it's going to be 18 years till you get it back because that's how long it takes for that south node to go back to that um, to that 10th. I love you, my airbenders. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, and like, subscribe, and share. And I'm working on the monthly horoscopes, so I don't know about the daily horoscopes. I might start those next Monday, okay? Kisses. Mm.